这个金玉啊，有西洋看的狼子，咋就这个先干呢？西洋看的狼子，我看他们说是功夫的力量是不低，那就不行。我还一直说，那是不是就不低？那就不行。这个来，二三。We are a shape of something. Come on, you know. We are a shape of samsara. You know what is samsara? Cycle of birth, death, birth, death. We are very frightened of it because once you die, immediately rebirth. No waiting for forty-nine days.、Uh, some people say forty-nine days, but who is the person who keeps account? No accountant, no account. Only thing it is. Science has already proved we are a collection of energy, and energy is never lost. The moment you die, it is reformed. Ice becomes solid. Now、uh, ice becomes liquid. It becomes water. Water becomes gas, steam. It is like that. It is never lost. Actually, when you diagnose ice, it is H two O. And then when it is water, H two O. When it is steam, also H two O. So science says energy is never lost; it's changed form. In previous lives, all of us were not human beings. Some of you in the devil world, some of you in the animal world, some of you in hell, some of you born as petas. That's why if you analyze yourself, some of you are very greedy, some of you are very angry, some of you are very selfish. All this because of tendencies. So there are four types of people who are born in this world. One is the、uh, one you see.、Uh, the moment they hear this、uh, dharma, pop their head. And they attend what Ananta straight away. There was one monk whose name was、uh, Darucharya. The Buddha only said four lines:、uh, "In the seen, there is only what is seen. In the heard, there is only what is heard." So, in the seen, what is seen? In the seen means form. And in the form, there is no such thing as there is only the shape form, and then no, there is no such thing as a beautiful or ugly. No, form never tells him it is ugly, it is beautiful. But form has got this shape. When there is a shape, we have idea. When it is a guitar shape, it is a woman. When it is a barrel shape, it is a man. That concept is coming. So the first type of people, lah,、uh, Buddha told like Darucharya. In the scene, there's only what is seen. So when they see anything, they only see form. There's no pretty form. There's no ugly form. It is the thinking that makes you say it is beautiful or it is ugly. So thinking is the one. Once you start thinking, concept has arisen. You are not seeing reality. You are seeing conceptualized dharma. So the one is ugati thano is the one first type of people. They hear something, pop, say away, but they don't get say away. First stage, they get first stage sotapati, sakadagami, anagami, and then arahanta. But Buddha says, "Ah,、uh, the moment when you freak your fingers, stop. More than a billion times, not million, billion times, one thousand million times, and you require only seventeen top moments to attain sotapati. Another seventeen sakadagami, another seventeen anagami, another seventeen arahanta. Still within. That's what Ananda when he says, ah." Uh, when he listens to the Buddha and、uh, everything, on, at once straight away he gets his、uh, uh, uh, what I call sotapati. Then after that no more. 
Why no more? He is so attached to the Buddha. So because of attachment, he has lost this chance of becoming an Aranta. So concerned with the Buddha. But the Buddha told him, three months after I go away, you will attain. Although he has by hearted everything, he knows everything, still you cannot attain. So, when three months, exactly three months after the Buddha was uh, passed away, he was lying down. The moment he was lying down with mindfulness, Sakadagami, tak tak, anagami, tak, before he touched the pillow, Arahanta. Never touched the pillow, he gets up. So this, uh, Ugati Thangu is the first type of people. Very sharp, pop the attain. Second time, second type of people are uh, Vipachitanu. Vipachitanu is a per- person uh, who listens to the Buddha very attentively and then he attains. Just like Mangalana Sariputta. Mangalana attained one week after. At first when he heard, heard only he attained Sotapati. And then after one week he attained Sakadagami, Anagami, Arahita. So with uh, Sariputta. Sariputta took two, ma- uh, two, uh, two weeks to attain. So that one is Vipachitanu. He listens to the Dhamma and then he concentrates, then after some time he gets it. So these two types of people now no more in this world. Because uh, we have passed the period already. Now we have to struggle very hard. That's why we all know, ah, yeah, Chinga, troublesome, la, struggling so hard, still cannot get certain party. But you have to try very hard because now the Buddha says Satsana will last 5,000 years. Now it's over the middle line already. So when it's over the middle line, it means you have come up to the top and you are declining now. So declining period now, so we have to struggle very hard. But that does not mean we are going to miss the thing. A lot of people were attained if you struggle. One day I asked this Masi side of people, how many people were attained? And they told me uh, that man who was a monk, who was actually following our, this uh, Upanita, and he quietly told me about 60% of the people who followed struggle in Masi side of the attained. Attained Sotapati. Once I tell Sotapati, I tell you, uh, it is better than you strike social welfare twenty times. One time two million, twenty times forty million, isn't it? Uh? What is the use? When you die, you drop nothing, not even five cents. You cannot bring five cents along. All you leave behind. So now they are left with another two types. The other type is Neya and Paduk, Paduk Parama. Neya people are people are when they listen to the Buddha's talking and then they read a lot, they hear the teacher talk a lot, they practice very hard. Like now we are people who are Neyas if we attain. We are struggling, practicing, practicing, practicing. Some people take seven days which I think we cannot now. Some people take seven years, which also very susa. There were cases like Sona, Tera, is a Tera Sona, more than ten years. And he took thirty years to attain. There are people who took more than thirty years to attain a Sota Pati, first stage of Senur. So if you all really want to try, you must try very hard. So you might belong to the Nea type. You have to struggle very, very hard. Another type is Pada Parama type. Pada Parama type, they are born with two roots. When they are born with two roots, how much they struggle, they will not attain. Even if they try for 50 years, they cannot attain. But then what is the purpose of the struggling? Ah. When they are practicing now, they develop the tendency. The next life, they will work. And the next life, they will attain. Why? Because in, in, in heaven, very conducive for concentration. But then they must be very careful if they are born among the devas who are delighting, chasing after sense objects. 
everything they see beautiful, every time they smell better than Channel 22, everything they hear, they smell, they touch, they taste, they think, or they, everything this sixth sense does, very wonderful. And if they enjoy all these things, no chance of meditation. No chance of meditation will ever happen. The next life they come down human world. And at that time it will be very low beyond, beyond this while you come. Another 36 million years, which means to say probably no more Dharma. And when you come to no more Dharma, can you practice? No more. So you are going down, pop, 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 pop. Until you reach Apaya, uh, this uh, Avicii hell. Avicii hell. Why is called Avicii hell? There, the torture, they torture you until non-stop, 24 hours non-stop. There are certain hells, there are eight major hells and 136 altogether smaller hells. And all these hells you have to undergo hardship. But certain hells they have such things as evening already, today close, so you can rest. So at night you rest. So we have got a, 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 a break for you to relax. But if you are in Avicii hell, non-stop, like this Devadatta, he is pierced with five spears, one on, from the top down to the bottom, legs two, hands two, five. So these five things are continuously and he is undergoing the pain of these five things continuously. Until eventually that, even that thing also, not so much pain because after that you can tolerate, then they about turn you. When they about turn you, it's just like fish, not so right by looking. You dig, dig out and then chaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaaa
we are, we are so very rich that if my son spends 1,000 a day until he is 100 years old, sugar cannot finish. So they don't, they don't do any reading or anything. They don't, uh, in other words, uneducated, but fabulously rich. And he was born with three roots. The wife also born with three roots. But no attainment because why? Inside the mind there is this kilesa. You know what this kilesa? Sime. The mind's dirtiness. Greek hatred illusion. Very strong. And this Mahadana, when the father died, he received altogether $1,600 million. And within a few years he he got into trouble. When the father died, only Kilesa, Kilesa means enjoying sense object. And his house, although big bungalow, every night show, all the Indian artists will come. And when he likes certain artists, he will show. Now, 5,000. After that, you see another one, very dancing as well. Now, 10,000. So, Later on, the middle part of his life became a bankrupt. Sold everything, even the house they had to stay also was sold. And they have come up and start begging. And one day the Buddha saw, caught, and the Buddha shook his head. And then Ananda asked, My Lord, why you shake your head when you look at them? He said, Look, Ananda. This Mahadana, if he renounced the world when he was young, he will become an Arahanta. And the world will become an Anagami. But they have missed the chance. No more. Then it would have said, in the middle part of the life, if, the, if they become a monk, the Husband will be uh, Anagami and the wife will be uh, Sakadagami, second stage of sainthood. Still they miss the boat. And in the last stage when they are old, the Buddha said, if they have become a monk, this man will become a Sakadagami and the wife will be a Sotapan. Now he said, look Ananda, all gone, lost. lost. So you can see how huh, this is another horrible thing. In other words, all of us must be very aware that deep inside us, greed, hatred, delusion is very, very strong. And every one of us here, even not only here or not, even those people who have been monarchs, uh, world monarchs, even devas, even Sakadeva Raja, even Brahmas, all of them have got a lot of evil energies accumulated in their storehouse, but not, not yet ripened. Anytime getting ripens, they will fall into apaya. Why? Because of one thing in it. They have not seen non-self, no I, no mind. Mandarin says, Pusu water, Pusu water. No I, no mind. And you are all practicing Vipassana meditation. What is the purpose? The purpose is to attain a Satapati where you can see no I, no mind. When you attain the stage, no more. All those accumulations which are going to take you down to hell, no more. Why no more? Because all the evil things that you have been doing based on only one thing, and that one thing is I and mine. You look down on me, I will, Chinese say, Pachiki Holokau. I will teach you a lesson. This is all caused by the, the, the idea of the I and the mind. So, the most horrible thing is this. Once you can control, see that there is no I, no mind, 
not by thinking. Thinking cannot make you attend. You must see rising, falling, rising, falling, rising, falling, until eventually you come to a stage where you attend. What do you mean by attend? You see niroda, cessation. Cessation of what? Perception. Feelings. There's no perception. There's no feelings. When there's no feelings, no perception, there's no I am said. My car. My wife and children. My, my no more. And you understand what is sunyata. Hun. And this sunyata is different from what the other monks are saying. Other monks say, we also see sunyata. But you all see sunyata by understanding the seven stages of purification. You see the first stage of purification, you see the sila visuddhi is there. Then citta visuddhi, purification of mind. Then the third thing, purification of view. Then the fourth purification of, you see, conditionality, you will see all these things. There are seven altogether. I don't want to deal on all these things. I just tell you that we will look up the, the, the thing, seven stages of purification. You come to the seven, seven stages, nyanya dasana visuddhi. Nyanya, he sees it already. Not by thinking. Everything right in front of you, that thing is there. So you all listen to some of my tips, but my tips are all in Hokkien. I will repeat it in Chinese. Abe lae si ilu chai ibe lae ya. Lae si ilu um chai. Some of you cannot understand. Uh. Who cannot understand? How can tell me? Show me. Wow, you know, Cantonese people. Uh, huh? All Cantonese. Uh, huh? In KTL, all Cantonese. But you can understand now. Uh. Mm. The first thing that you will see. Uh, no thinking right in front of him. He saw emptiness. Now he I say, can you imagine emptiness? He said, yes, I can. Kong, Kong empty. What is Kong? Kong is a space with a lot of air or no air. That also is a concept. But you see it is different. And you ask me, when, I, when you experience, I will tell you, can we, can we? How you see Nirvana? How you see Nirvana? You cannot talk. Because you use any words, it is concept. That's why right. it's very wonderful you experience, and the way you experience, and then you talk, is different from people who read and then start to talk. And then you call them, they say, I also don't know. But no, you see very clearly. Cold is cold. So, we hope you are one of those mayas. Some other you are going to get later on, but maybe a little part of your life. And then if we are in the Pada, uh, Padapa Rama type, which means to say you are not going to get, you don't bother because you are building up your tendencies. When you are building up your tendencies and you develop this tendency, the next one you are going to attain in human. So there are a lot of people who are talking nonsense in the sense that they say uh, present day people have passed the Buddha sasana. The Buddha said, my sasana will last 5,000 years. So within these 5,000 years the Tipitaka will be dead. And the Buddha said it very clearly, as long as there are Tipitakas, and as long as people are reading the Tipitakas and practicing the Tipitakas, the three baskets, they will surely attain if they have got the paramis. If they don't have the paramis, they are going to develop some jhanas. Not jhanas, jhanas, N-A-N-A-S, jhanas. Why my pen is not here? Jhanas, N-A-N-A-S, jhanas. Who has the ball? Uh, uh, quite bad, uh. 
Michela. So I want you all not to be confused, sir. Huh? Uh, not to be confused and then so that you understand what is Yanas, what is Janas. Huh? J A N N A. Jana, J H A N N A. Jana, what is Yana? N A N A. You say it's like that, Ya. Nya, Nyana. Actually, nation sound Nyana. This is Jana. Jana are people who practice Samatha meditation. When they practice Samatha meditation, they enter the first stage of Jhana, second stage of Jhana, third stage of Jhana, fourth stage of Jhana. Then they go to Arupa Jhanas, another four, altogether eight Jhanas. What is Jhana? Jhanas are people who practice so thoroughly that all the five hindrances disappear. What are the five hindrances? Sense object disappear. Dislike disappear or Aversion disappears too. The second is your uh, laziness, sloth and topper disappears. The fourth is your restlessness, wandering like one of them, one of them, another coming to you. And the fifth one is your uh, ducks. I've been practicing so long. I think they are one not talking all nonsense. I don't get anything. So all these things are. This they call Nirvana. They hinder you. Everybody has got these five things. So if you can concentrate under these five things and then you will have other good five things coming in. That is called jhanas. And when you attain jhanas, at the moment you attain jhanas, there is no seeing, no hearing, no smelling, no tasting, no touching. Even if it sees, all oh, there is no likes and dislikes. Like is craving. Dislike is aversion. No. So he is a very calm, serene person. But yamas are wisdom factor. And when you want to attain this sotapan, you must have sixteen yamas. Yamas sixteen. One, two, three, 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 up to twelve. After twelve, ah, then wonderful. And then thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Boom, they come to you, one shot. Plop, 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 plop. Like you take one mantle, you touch on, plop, all down. So try that one. After twelve, one by one, you try. You clear one, clear one, clear one. Clear one. So you were telling, so you were very lucky, you would throw away. Buddha said, better than to become Sakar Deva Raja. He called also useless. Even if you become a universal monarch, also useless, if you don't have this yana. So people are now talking now that, ah, no me la, now don't bother la. I will, I know I cannot attain. I will, I will ask Amitabha Buddha to help me. So, Amitabha Buddha, put on the roof. Ah, you hold me, I will take you to Sukhavati. Then Sukhavati, you will go up. Punana. Impossible. So that's why we are very brief. If you feel help, please don't scold me. The Buddha said it. Huh? So if you really scold me, huh, we are, the Buddha said, you must practice yourself. What did the Buddha say? I, as the Buddha, show you the way. You must practice. If you don't practice, you don't think that somebody will come. In samsara, Buddha said, you help yourself. So you think your temper is bad, you better destroy your temper. If you think your greed is bad, you destroy your greed. When the greed disappears, anger disappears, delusion disappears, boom, it comes up. It is called a spontaneous appearance of Nibbana is seen by you. So try very hard, very, very hard. Because this great hatred delusion has been with us millions and millions and millions, not of what? 
of Eonza. Eonza. You know what I mean? How long? You remember? Did I tell you? I think you all have heard when I was talking in KL. Huh? Seven months, seven months, seven months. One hundred years, one man rub, rub, rub. And these seven months, these this seven months have still disappeared. Also not ordinary rock, huh? granite rock, huh? solid rock. Huh? So you can imagine. Huh? In times of years, Buddha said, there is no figure, right? So today I'm going to talk to you, he said, now, nah, we hope that. Nah. So today I'm going to talk to you, nah. if you want to know whether you are practicing correctly, Buddha said it very, very clearly already. No other way. That's what the Buddha said. Eka yano ayang vikare margo Satanam Visudya Sukha Paridevanam. Buddha told us, Eka Yano. Eka means one. Yano is the way. Only one way only, no other way. Now people say, 84,000 ways. In 84,000 ways, uh, the whole world will be full of Arahantas. Many people are meditating. But can't get. And the Buddha's way is what? If you really practice it, Eka Yano Ayam Bikave Mako. Satta Nam Visuddhya. Satta. Satta means beings. Visuddhi. Purified beings. Only one way. And the way is Mahasati Patana. Kayano Pasana. Veda no Pasana. Chitta no Pasana. Dhamma no Pasana. Concentration on the body, concentration on the feelings, concentration on your mind, concentration on these other qualities like Nivaranas, the Datunus, all these things. Seeing consciousness, hearing consciousness, how they appear, all these things you must know. So when you have got all these four things, you are going into the exact path which the Buddha showed. If it does not have these four things, something is wrong. Very simple. So, Kayana Pasana, mindfully establishing on physical phenomena. Physical phenomena, what is going on in your body? And physical phenomena, attention firmly established in the rise and fall. Just watch the rising and the falling. And can it amount to attention on all things? It is just like watching everything already. Only in the rising and falling is minor matter. You just watch. Now you don't know how. The time will come, you will tell, ha, nothing but minor matter. And how will we come? The five Nivaranas must be wiped up. No more. Then your mind is so calm, so serene, so penetrative. Then you see things differently. Then you see only movement. Then you see another movement. Then you see another movement. Then you see another movement. You see another movement. And you know that this is a body that is moving. And then after that when you say, it's the body that is moving, then you start developing. Oh, is the body moving? Is the mind knowing? Is the body moving? Is the mind knowing? And without the hindrance first, the mind is so calm, so pure, so tranquil, so what we call penetrative. You un understand, there is no I, there is only the body moving, there is the mind knowing it is moving. And then the human says, now it is moving up. And his mind knows that it is moving up. The body does not know. So gradually you find. To control. Why do you have to control this attention on all, on all things? At least for one to three hours daily. So you are all laymen. I want you all to go home and practice seriously at least one hour a day. After that, gradually go to two hours a day, gradually to three hours a day. 
if you can do more, better. You will be faster. Don't come like that and sit down. Actually, uh, I'm not very happy that we all come for a few days. I tell you why. Now these few days, you are fighting to control this five Nivaranas. There's a Chinese saying, Kwan Kong Kui Mo Kwan. You are fighting to cross these five things. And the, by the time you are going to conquer, you say, I'm going home, time up already. No! If you really want to come, struggle for two weeks. Then the second week, you are penetrating. First thing you are fighting to the enemy, then you go into another stage. But before you start another stage, surrender, I'm going back home. Now. That's where I'm wrong. People like me, I'm all hair white. Every time when I look, kau tang lah, kau tang lah. You know, kau tang is time right already. I'm going away, I'm going away. So when you understand the seriousness of practice, very serious you must be. So, firmly establishing on mental attention and the rise and fall. Of course, in the real Dhamma book, it is not on the rise and fall, it is on the in-breathing and the out-breathing. But we put rise and fall because our method, as taught by Mahasi Saidao, is on the rise and fall. And if you analyze this rise and fall and the breathing in and out are the same, because the main thing is to see the body or physical phenomena. Physical phenomenon, phenomena consists of three things, uh, four things, Patavi, Apo, Tejo, Vayo, earth, water, fire, wind. You must be able to see them so clearly, but you don't say wind as wind and you don't say water as water, you don't see earth as earth. We ask you to concentrate on the elements of earth, elements of fire, elements of water, elements of heat. And Buddha says you can only see them by the sensation. When you touch solid, you know solid element is great. When you touch the carpet, soft. Solid element is soft. It's, it's small, so it gives you softness. When you touch heat, when you see heat, heat element is great. When you touch cold, heat element is very little. Hot and cold. When you touch, when you see motion, it's the wind element. Then when you say vibrating, also wind element. Or it's the stiffness, wind element. You remember the toy. When you blow the balloon, then the toy stands up. When you let go the air, crack, drop down. So you remember this, some of these things, wind elements. But water element is a mental thing, you have to do a little thinking. But sometimes when you feel hot, the thing is dropping down. What do you hear? What do you feel? Motion. What is motion? It's not water. It's not sweat. So we, this water element, it gives you two types of characteristics. Just like flower, corn flower. You put water, it clusters into a lump. When you put more water, it starts flowing. So the character of water is to cohese or coagulate. And when you put two more, it flows. Okay? So you see, by concentration on the body, you get this. Then you must come venture on feelings. Every time when you feel nice, soft, wonderful, happy, pleasurable feeling. Every time when you are disgusted, miserable, unpleasant feeling, also there. And every time when you feel neutral, neutral feeling is there. Don't go too far. There are a lot of people who describe uh, Vedana, uh, about hundred types of Vedana or feelings. But we don't bother to don't go that far. You know that uh, that this type of feeling, uh, physical feeling, when a hammer drops my leg, I don't know why. Toro, toro, that is physical feeling. 
But when somebody hurts you, that boyfriend says, I'm not going to marry you, then you say, ah, oh, you're very sad, ah, that one is mental feeling. Then also is the boy said, forgive me, I'm sorry, I only joke with you. Then you say, happy feeling. All these things come. So feelings is just the group of feelings. Don't say that feeling comes. A group of feelings. It is a good feeling, it is a bad feeling, it is a neutral feeling. This is coming up and down. And is it your wish? Not your wish. It comes by itself. How? Something you, which you like, you cling to it. Something which you don't like, you are adverse to it. Something which you are confused by it, you are deluded with it. So that is called delusion. So it's a feeling group. We are not human beings. Human being is a concept. We are just a collection of five things. There's a body, there's a feeling, there's a thinking, there's a First, uh, there is uh, mental formations of my greediness, my loving kindness, my uh, compassion, or my selfishness. All these are called your the Chinese called hui, or your mental formations, and then consciousness. What is consciousness? Also, is connection. When your eyes see an object. Seeing consciousness. When you smell something, smelling consciousness. When you hear something, hearing consciousness. Different altogether. Seeing means we use the eye and the object. But hearing, I cannot hear. It's discerning hearing, another object. And it's not the shape, it is the sound. Soprano or no one, I don't know, all this sound, I don't know. Huh? Some people are very good. Then they can they know. So, conscious, you find that we are actually a collection of six senses, six, uh, six consciousness. Seeing consciousness, smelling consciousness, tasting consciousness, hearing consciousness, feeling consciousness, and thinking consciousness. All these four things coming together. And when you analyze these four things, what are they? Conditions. There's no, there's no person. Now you see, that's why now you sometimes read in the Abhidhamma. What did they say? Walking is there, not the person who walks. Eating is there, not the person who eat. Sitting is there, not the person who sit. Sometimes you think, why the Buddha talk all these things so very funny? Why did this all full of meaning? Meaning why? Uh, sitting is there, hardness. And then it gives you a hardness is there. That means the element of wood. And then song, nice. Yes. Feeling is there. And then a bit too tight, tight yeah, because if you can get a cushion, it will be better. Comfort is there, sensation is there, and what I call this, uh, consciousness is there. So these six things jumping up and down, one after another. <coughs> if you analyze, there's no fear, there's no person. We are a collection of these six. Vinyana. Vinyana means consciousness. So if you can remember kaya, vedana, chitta. Chitta means thinking, thinking, thinking. You all have been meditating, you observe now, sometimes straight thoughts come. Do you like to have these straight thoughts? Huh? No. They came by themselves. Why can't you tell them, don't go, don't come, go away, la. I don't want you, I'm going to concentrate. But they don't want to listen to you. So how can you say it? That is... Uh, Straight up is myself. No. That's why thinking is there, but not the person who thinks. And you want me to analyze this very interesting, but we don't go that far. And Dharma no Pasana. When you are practicing rising, falling, rising, falling, and then you say, wow, very nice, very comfortable. Today I got hit. I'm very, very 
Today wonderful uh, my meditation very nice, very nice. Then you see. Because it is nice, you don't observe, you are attached to it and after that you see. <coughs> you are carried away. So you see sometimes you like it carries away. Dislike also carries away. Dislike what you straight out should come. This fellow look down on me, that fellow talk back on me, this fellow do this on me, I want to do that, that, this fellow say must be like that. Straight out. So why is the person thinking is there, but not the person who thinks, comes by itself. And why comes by itself? Because of your accumulation. All along you are that type of people. Think, 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 and then you don't want to think also it thinks. Tendency is there, very strong. So these four things, if mountain, and then you get small, small like a small little thing, also pekas, and then the asuras. And in this world, and that's why we are frightened of samsara. Now, my daughter, full of danger. So people who are teaching Aradi Samsara, there's another type of Buddhist, they even ask me, Sumano, supposing I'm not practicing Vipassana meditation, oh, I don't want to practice, I do evil. Then I do a lot of evil things. What happens? After I die, I'm not doing something of me. I'm so I do a lot of wicked things. And so I'm going to suffer. There will be another fellow, Ramasami, who's going to suffer. Say, I'll be born as an Indian, I'll be bringing in Ramasami. He's a not different body. So why do you do it? If they tell you like that. So I know you've got body feeling starts perception consciousness. Body feeling starts perception consciousness. As Suvano, he has got these five things. When he is born as Raman Sami also, body feeling starts perception consciousness. Body feeling, the second type of feeling is terrible. Now I am born as Suvano, not so terrible, but when I am born as Raman Sami, pain is there. Whether it is Raman Sami, whether it is Suvano, pain is there. So when I am born as Raman Sami, if there is no pain, no bother, another type of being, but it's the pain. So you analyze and see, uh, we cannot escape. Pain is there. A lot of people twist and turn and say, don't worry, la, don't worry. La. We have to worry. If there is no feeling, come on, body feeling. No, body feeling, on uh, perception, mental formation, consciousness, no feeling. Very wonderful. It's because of feeling that we suffer. It's because of feeling that we clean. It's because of feeling that we are reborn. And one day somebody asked Sri Buddha, what is there in Nibbana when there is no feeling? And what did Buddha say? What did Sri Buddha say? Friend, because there is no feeling, there is wonderful thing. Feeling is there. With no feeling, okay, wonderful. Now supposing I get a knife, I want to kill him. And you are going to happen now? Sure, hundred percent now. Is he afraid or not? I want to chop now, kill now. Heaven, finish. But we are not certain. And he's going to suffer before he dies. I know the man. Especially if you have a cut of a look. Eh, 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 <laughs> so painful, uh, how to pull up? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> Feeling is there. So, it's a more own, a chai si run. So, when you have what is samsara, second thing is that under matu, times when path and fruit cannot be obtained, people are talking like that, that now no more chance. This is called, they are, Buddha never said that, Buddha said that. As long as there are Tripitakas and people are reading and practicing, today all of you are practicing. Actually, the Noble Eightfold Path is here. 
So to say that there is no past, no fruit is wrong dharma. But that thing defy effect until parami ripen. Just like just now, Mahadana. Parami ripen, but he still didn't miss the chance because of Kilesa. I can understand how Kilesa. He never bothers to struggle. And the fourth thing, believe that now only two roots. Anybody who can don't understand these two roots or three roots, just tell me. You all can understand what are two roots, three roots. You know, you understand now, eh? That's it. I'll tell me, I'll answer. Because this can understand are two roots or three roots. Can you all understand two roots or three roots? Cannot. All the way cannot. Then I'll explain to you. In your immediate previous life, not this immediate previous life, there was this dying moment. At the time when you are about to die, there will occur one last stop moment. And that last stop moment, today you are born as a human being, you are born with good roots. And the good roots are non-greed, non-hatred, non-delusion. Or non-greed or liberality is the same, same thing. Non-hatred or loving kindness is there. Non-delusion or wisdom is there. So at the moment that when you are about to die, now that you are a human being, you have got good roots. And what are the good roots? Three. Non-greed is there or liberality is there. Non-hatred is there which means loving kindness is there. Non-delusion is there or wisdom is there. Of these three things, if the last stop moment is something that has liberty, today you are born for a rich man. No anger or what I call loving kindness is there, you are born extra beautiful. No confusion is there or wisdom factor is there, you are born intelligent. So some people make very good money, some people make less money because of these three things. So there was this two roots fellow. How he get two roots? He met a girlfriend and the girlfriend used to come to temple. And this fellow is not a believer. So, but the girlfriend says, Come on, I'm going to MBMC. La. But he wants to please the girl. He says, okay, la, I'll come. La. And then the girl says, Hey, today is the Saido's birthday. La. Don't make something. La. And actually he does not believe in this Dharma. But since he loves the girl, the girl says, it's Good, okay, la, I give 10 dollars. We don't know what is there, la. whether good or no good, I don't care. La. Just because I love the girl, she said good, okay. La. So, there's no intelligence in there. But there's liberty. But if they call that liberty is caused by the love for that girl. So, at the time when we give the ten dollars, liberty is there. And then, there is, when there's liberty, there is also meta, in the sense that he loves the girl. So no anger is there, but with two roots. Wisdom, no wisdom. Don't care uh, what you do, if the girl say good, good, uh, I don't care, as they say. But that girl, liberal, full of meta, and wisdom, understand that it's karma that is the cause, whether are they born rich or poor. So she's born with three roots. Can see the point now? So two roots, three roots. Only when people are doing good to me. When people are doing that, they call no roots, they go through, they go down. But only for good people. But there's another one called no roots. How? You are born a really a stupid fellow. But because of your good merits, you are born rich men. So some people are very rich, but gongkia, gongkai tire. And they say, hey, don't you something about the temple? Huh? Temple, why temple? They are building a temple. Huh? A temple like that. Huh? There's so much money gives up. Huh? Okay, now you take how much you want. Nothing he does. He knows nothing. So he's born rootless. So when he's born rootless, he will be born deaf, dumb, retarded, stupid. So there are three types of roots. Two roots, three roots, or no roots. Because number one and two are about the same. When you're liberal, there's also meta. Hmm? You can see them. So, one root, no. Why? 
Now, no roots, two roots and three roots. Three roots people practice and if they are hard working, they will get it. But two roots people you practice, you never get it. But when you cannot get it, what is the purpose? Carry on until you get your tendency is there. When the tendency is there, then you will get it. In the immediate next life, because of the wisdom factor that you are cultivating now. So you can understand two roots, three roots, simple. This is Abhidhamma. And then you are mental, then you must see physical sensation, mental processes of thoughts. And then you are called Nivaranas. So when you see, you are watching, you are rising and falling, you are practicing your physical phenomena, rising and falling. If you are Patyo, if you are Patyo means your posture. Walking, you know you are walking. Sitting, you know you are sitting. Standing, you know you are standing. There are four postures. Lying down, you know you are lying. That is called Iriya Patyo. And then uh, Sampajanas. You must also know Sampajanas. Sampajanas are clear comprehensions. There are few types of comprehensions you must know as a meditator. First meditation is that, supposing you are going to do uh, meditation, and then you must know, that, is it the right time to do? Say, I'm going to the pagoda to meditate. But when you go to the pagoda, a lot of women are there, and you are men, and you want to go there and meditate. Is it the proper time? They are always going around the, the I go down, round and round and you want to go, so not appropriate. Although meditation is good, so you must know the proper time. And then sometimes you want to say anything, also you must know. So proper time you must know. And then there are certain things when you want to say. Uh, when you understand that everything that is on these on this four objects, then you know your meditation is correct. If I say, watch your mind now. Every time when there is a mind, follow the mind and think where you can go, how far can you go, then you know, this is wrong. Because when you talk, you say, thinking, 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 you are not to say, follow the thought. So you like the anger, you say, anger, 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 don't follow the, the anger, you say, anger, 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 it disappears. But if you follow the anger, 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 he swindled me, he cheated me. Next time, I will swindle him back. I will cheat him back. Thinking is there. So you see, anger is anger. Straight out is straight out. No thinking, then you are correct. Chitano, Chitano means uh, mental processes of thoughts. Every time you watch, a lot of people after straight thoughts, they follow their straight thoughts and they go one straight thoughts, two, three, four, five, sometimes they go up to 20 hours straight thoughts and they say, Aja, I will meditate but I am thinking. So the third one is Sampajanas and the fourth one is what you call I, uh, I also spectacle also cannot go to the car. Ah, you have to practice first the beginner are when they practice uh, they will always have the shape of the abdomen. Then they say my abdomen for P for P can you understand from P, can you not? For P for P. Some of you will say I know, my abdomen like a balloon. She, she. The shape of everything is there. But you go up to the fourth jhana, no more shape. All go chen. Go chen is there, processes there. You see them very clearly. Only a continuous series of changing, changing, changing going on. For the nail, ah. Like Mahadana, Rajan Mahadana, King Ajaka Sakyo, this one don't bother. So there you must see, we must always watch three things if we are going to progress. Sila Samadhi Panya. Sila Samadhi Panya. Ah, people like some of us who are quite elderly, like you also, and our friend also. You are young people, I don't, cannot come to you. Lah. But people like us, elderly, like our two gentlemen here, we are already old man, we better work hard. We must take what we know. Ajiva Dhamma Kasila. Now, of course, we must start permanent seven or permanent eight precepts. 
People like us don't tend to waste, no. Okay, I will start one start now. I think people like us better take permanently. Myself are permanently got like that because we are first thing is that no killing, no stealing, no adultery. The first thing is that no telling lies, no backbiting, no free to stop, no harsh words. Already seven. What is the eighth one, you know? Right livelihood. Actually all of you got. Why not? One day, see a man and tell him, Bante, I want to stick on with the... Hundred percent, man. The Buddha says, very clearly, those with the prominent precepts, they are the people who are sure to go to heaven. Sure, clean and pure. So better take your eight precepts one day. Together, one, two, three, four, five. These young people want to enjoy life, let us enjoy a little bit in our mind. No, I think so. So don't waste time, no. Better quit the kaccha, kapu, or kakuna. There was this fisherman. Actually, they were robbers. During the Buddha Kasapa's time, they were robbers. Not Buddha Kasapa. After Buddha Kasapa, there were some. And then uh, they were robbers. They killed a lot of people. And 500 of them. And there was a king who was very powerful. He says, this forest is full of robbers. So he surrounded his army. 20,000 all armed. So they knew they were going to die. Once they surrounded, no gap. They knew they were going to die. So what did they do? They saw some monks meditating there. So they knelt down and said, Bante, Bante, help us, we are God. Then the, the monk said, Nobody can help you. We need your sila. And they said, All right, help us. All right, chant your five precepts. And the moment they chant your five precepts, all the army closed in. Then he's one of the robbers. Are you a robber? Yes. Chop. The other friend also sees the friend of the chop. Are you a robber? Yes. Chop. But they die with the consciousness that they keep the precepts. They were world. This way they kill a lot of people. They were world. And Gautama Buddha stand, they came down as fishermen. And Gautama Buddha was there, they came down as fishermen. And what happened? The father said, time for you to go and try some fish. First day they went and caught fish, what did they get? A golden fish. And it was, they never see such a nice beautiful fish. But when the fish opened the mouth, the whole tongue smells. So beautiful and just so ugly smell. And what did they do? They told the father, the father took on the boat, carried the boat and saw the Buddha. And the Buddha told the story. This is Kapila, a monk who made a lot of money, twisting Dharma to feed himself and he became a very wonderful monk because he's so smart, so rich. So a lot of people have been like that. A lot of money, four wives, three wives. Monks. But this fellow repented and let the world get down. And then Kapil, uh, this Buddha spoke to this, this fish. Are you Kapila? The fish said yes. Where is your brother? My brother at Tony Bana. Where is your mother? Avichi has. Where is your sister? Avichi has. Where is the mother and father? The mother and the sister happy with this temple. They became very rich. Now what is the use? Then the Buddha asked, where are you going after this? I'm going back to Avicii hell. Because so many crimes, one crime after another is coming. And you think he will come and meet Vidya Buddha? He might miss the boat. And my last advice to you all now, it is my last advice. I'm also old, maybe I might die any moment. If you don't practice now, and you do evil, you go down Avicii or other hell. When you are in hell, the Buddha says, you are caught in samsara, no chance of coming up. When Maitreya Buddha comes, you will miss the book. 
That's why at the end of it, from home, not that I didn't love my wife, I love her very much, but at the end of it, if I don't run away, I'll get caught. When I get caught, no escape. And this world cycle got five Buddhas. And you see uh, in the angles of these things, uh, there were cases when four Buddhas were killed. After four or five Buddhas were killed, there will be several thousands of war periods, no Buddhas will come. When no Buddhas, no Arahanta. But there will be Pacheka Buddhas. Who will be the Pacheka Buddhas? Those who have made vows that there will be Pacheka Buddhas. No time so. That's why I always stop. I, I walk on the Tochu side here. Now. My singer. My singer. One day your blessing comes and no more chance. This is my last advice to you all. Look hard for you. Attain Sotapati. If you don't attain, try next life because you might be too rude. People want to waste time, let them waste time. There are people who are not afraid of samsara. People who are afraid of samsara, they run away. With that, I end up my people's talk today.